Hello and welcome to another One Funnel Away Challenge Challenge review with me, Christian Rauchenwald. We are in week one, day number five, and the mission is create. Um, yeah, it's gonna be like a very short video. I know I'm saying that quite often, and sometimes I or then then often I don't manage to. But anyway, so um, first things first. If you tune in for the first time to this video and you have no clue what the One Funnel Away Challenge is, like get the hell out. Out of here it's not like the video is not gonna do you any good um, actually sign up for the one funnel away challenge you can click on the question mark there in the corner up here and it will show you how you can either sign up for with a 50% discount a roughly 50% discount or how you can get way more value by for the same uh, investment actually get Russell's books on top for yeah like a dollar ninety extra so it's like a really great deal and then start that playlist from the beginning once you are in the challenge so you learn the most but still don't forget to hit the subscribe button in the corner here so you don't miss out future content that not that's not necessarily related to this challenge for now if you're not in now if you're in the challenge you already went through your pre-training week and you're super stoked about what you're doing you're partially confused what you want to sell and and who to sell to you hopefully figured out or figure out, are in the process of figuring out very specifically who you want to sell to because that's the crucial element. I cannot repeat it often enough. And you've done your offer stacking, offer sequencing, and now you know what you want to offer. And it's time to create. Like yesterday, I already pointed you in the right direction and how to create your e-covers and stuff like that, how I can do it in less than five minutes. And basically now it's time to create all the rest. So if you wanted to throw in an ebook, if you want to throw in a course, like start filming, start writing, you know, like start hiring people to do that for you. It's really time to create. Don't forget done is better than perfect, but that also doesn't mean that your stuff should look like crap, yeah? Ask yourself if you see a website or a funnel and I don't know, like maybe you see that the funnel, like the video is like filmed in a, with like a super unfitting background, the audio is really crappy. Um, how likely are you going to trust that website, that person that he's the authority? It really depends on the industry as well, but you know, like done is better than perfect. Totally agree, but in some things like put in a little effort. So um, also with your e-cars and with your funnel design, if your funnel design looks like you've made it in, in Microsoft Paint, then you're doing something wrong. It doesn't have to look like one of Blake Newbar's funnel, um, but if it looks like made in paint, um, yeah, you're doing something wrong. But the funnel we're gonna come in, or you're going to create the funnel actually in week three, so that's something you can worry about later. But it also applies to your e-covers. If they look like created by a three-year-old in Microsoft Paint or drawing with finger paint, well, then it's not gonna do a good job. And also, a short reminder here, like while some of you are sharing their e-covers and stuff within the One Funnel Away group, um, in my in my experience, I don't know why, but you don't get proper feedback. People there are either dishonest or, or blended or they just don't want to hurt your feelings. Yeah, but they actually don't do your favor because I see it so often that people really share ugly e-covers and that's not by my perception, but by industry standards, you know, like for example, when the, the when you cannot read the font on the e-cover at all because the colors are uh, don't have enough contrast and things like that. And everybody still will say like, oh, this looks great. This looks great. So um, there's two things to learn from it. Like the feedback within the One Funnel Away and ClickFunnels group are not always 100% accurate because people tend or try to be nice because they also want nice responses in case they ask, um, which is not really in your favor. And um, the people in the One Funnel Away Challenge group are not your target audience, yeah? So like whatever they think about your stuff, it doesn't really matter. It, it, what matters is if your target audience, who you want to sell to, your ideal prospect, your perfect avatar, if that person likes it and wants to buy, yeah? So um, yeah, that said, there's not much more to add. Like actually, you know, if you're stuck, if you're behind with the challenge, if something is holding you back, use the group use like use our facebook group use our group chat if you're lucky enough to be in there use the comment function below the videos of this challenge guide and ask questions ask for help you know like as long as we have some time left to help people uh irina and i are always going to help you out with our experience and so you get better results yeah and but you you know like it's if you stay if you keep waiting for us to drop the magic bomb that solves your problem you will have to wait maybe a long time so um, if you just ask and tell us what you need I can simply tell you okay that's too much we cannot do it in a short video or it's like it's it's too specific or something like that um, or I would just create a video or I will send you a personalized message or something like that to help you out with your problem. But it's like use the tools available. It's like a lot of people join the One Funnel Away Challenge, join the ClickFunnels group. There's 200,000 people in the ClickFunnels group, but you see the same people constantly posting and, and commenting. Yeah. Um, 
And it's sad because it's like if you have all these tools and you want to build a house or a dog house or whatever it is you want to build, and you have all the tools and all the materials you need and you even have like a team of helpers, but you, you have no clue what you're doing and you still start doing it yourself instead of asking somebody who already did it before you, um, okay, which tools should I use? Like, um, how would you build it? How do you like that copy? How do you like this? Yeah. Should I put that here? Should I put it there? Like use people. Like the worst thing that can happen is that you ask for feedback from people that already have experience, not people that are like green behind their ears. Like you are in the one funnel away challenge. And the worst thing that can happen is that they don't reply because they're too, bu too busy. Yeah. Like they have other things to do. Um, maybe. Yeah. But if it, it don't, it, uh, it doesn't hurt. It won't hurt you. Like just ask, ask for help when you're stuck somewhere, even when you're not stuck, ask for feedback because just because you think that your offer is now great, your product is great, your offer sequencing and uh, your targeting is great. It doesn't mean that it's going to be great. So ask veterans, not only me and Irina, ask an Ellen Dean, reach out to Doug Borton, ask a Kevin Steven. Yes. Maybe they don't reply because they're busy and they, they, they also help a lot of other people's. But if one of them replies, chances are very high that you will have a huge aha moment and your offer will get better. Your product will get better. Your funnel will get better. Your copy will get better. So take advantage of those people. And there are many others that I didn't mention now. Yeah. So, um, really like use the veterans like and ignore all those people that just focus on sign up with my click funnels link because they just want to have your money. Use those people that are willing to sacrifice a little of their time without getting anything in return and then either pick the one person that helped you the most to get your ClickFunnels account as, as a sign of gratitude or if you already signed up for ClickFunnels well then if somebody helped you you know like be, be a nice guy go to the official ClickFunnels group and point out I'm really grateful that I don't know Alan Dean took the time to help me with my copywriting he's really great yeah and because that will help him too and without you paying something you actually paid him back and he got something out of it in return which makes it an even deal but yeah thanks for watching don't forget you know the thumbs up button hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet and so on you know all that yeah um actually in case you know it already the question would be why you haven't pushed that button yet and anyway yeah so um have a great weekend catch up on the challenge if you haven't if you're not yet there Again, use us, use the Facebook group, use the comment function, use the group chats and um, just stay in there. You know, it may seem like you're overwhelming just one, t one challenge at a time. You don't have to keep up with the schedule. Um, you ha just have to make sure you do everything in the right order yeah, and finish it and then do the next thing and the next thing. So thanks for watching. See you on Monday with another challenge summary. Till then, bye-bye.